Hey everyone, today we're going to go over how to add an SSL certificate to your website. So first we'll start off in GoDaddy, go to your domains, and then click on the DNS button. From here it'll pull up your website. You're going to click on the name servers tab, then the change name servers button. From there we'll use my own name servers, and then you type in your first name server in the first field. From there you'll go to the next field and type in your second name server. When you're done with that, click on the save button. It should save it and take up to 24 hours to take effect. Usually it's pretty instant on GoDaddy. Uh, you'll get a success sign when it's done. The next step, you'll click on SSL TLS inside your cPanel server. And then from there, you'll click on generate view or delete SSL. And then type in your domain name in the first field. You don't need HTTPS or anything. Then you'll have to add the city, the state, and then you'll have to choose your country from the drop-down. After that, you'll have to enter in your company name. And then once you enter the company name, then scroll down and click the generate button. You should get a CSR, which you'll need to copy the whole thing. Now you'll go to your name cheap account. And then from there, you're gonna click on SSL certificates and then click on the activate button. From here you'll paste in the CSR from the last step and then it'll automatically populate the primary domain. Then you're going to click the next button and then add CNAME record. Click the next button again and then you'll enter in an admin email. This is where they'll email you when the certificate's ready. And then click the next button and then just hit the submit button from there. And then it'll take a second to load. After that, you'll scroll down a little and click Edit Methods. This will take you to the next page where you'll have to click on the uh, little drop down and Get Record. And from there, you're going to copy the host field. You need to pull up your server where you can enter the DNS records. Uh, in a virtual private server, you'll use WHM, so it's easy. You'll just click on Add CNAME record and then copy the name. Next, you go back to name cheap and refresh the page with the certificate. And then from there, you'll click the download certificate button. Now it'll save it. Now that you're in cPanel, click on generate view, upload, or delete SSL certificates. And then you can click on choose file, which it'll bring up uh, your folder from the computer. Then select on the .crt file and then hit upload certificate button. Some servers come with the self-signed certificate, so we're just going to delete that one so it doesn't default back. Just click the delete button there, and then delete certificate, and we can go back to the original screen. And then you're going to scroll down and hit return to SSL manager. Now from here we're going to go to manage SSL sites. Once you're on the SSL sites page, you're going to need to scroll down and then Click on the select a domain drop down and then hit autofill by domain. That should fill all the private keys and everything and then click install certificate. Once that's done, your site's ready to go with an SSL certificate. To verify their certificate, you pull up the website in a browser and click on the lock icon. From there, hit connection secure and then you're going to click more information and then you can hit view certificate. And it should show the validity date and everything along with the other information from there.